Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's nice and early here in Seattle, but this crowd is already electric. The day is here. The grand finals of the summer skirmish. $1.5 million on the line today. Let's get into it. Game number one. Who will come out on top? Remember, Victory Royale. You win this game, you automatically win $25,000. A bad game or two, not, it, it doesn't is, spell is this, the is end this for Nick anybody. Is this Nick it versus Aiden? Shot to Nick Marks, goes down. Aiden says, welcome to Tilted. 30 seconds left until the zone moves, and then I'm telling you, when this when this thing starts, this is when uh, when chaos ensues. The zone move is one of the uh, the deadliest moments in games And like it's this. down this mountain, too, for all these players on Everybody's top. Everybody's got a slide. Yeah. Jumpman does have two launch pads, which I'm expecting him to use here. He's going to fly right on into the next zone. He's already got the natural height over it. Here, continuous tags. I, is, I, think, I think that is Hysteria being sprayed by like three or four people right now. United's Jack just got his fourth eliminated the game as he's looking to catch up to Aiden. Aiden was eliminated earlier on. We've now got five players with a point on the board. It looks like these were two players fighting earlier on, Lupo and Shifty. This, this kind of shows just how they both both fell. Don't stick the landing on the way in. This kind of shows how how players are. Oh uh, no! Oh no! You see in the feed, Jumpman eliminating Aiden. We at least know he, uh, who, hit his head who he went down to on a tree and was knocked down. Here's that move we mentioned down into the river. What an ending to this first zone. Hysteria there. You see the shotgun elimination on the knees. 32 players still remaining. Typically at this point, we're at like 13, 14 players. It's and we're at 31. 31. This, this is a, a good example Tico of how high a, the nerves are he here. He's got a drop. We have uh, cheers from the crowd here for that one. He's got remote explosives and a rocket. That's huge. Against all the players that are playing incredibly slow, they're all built up in structures. Explosives are going to be, uh, I mean, that could be game changing. He could come away with a bunch of eliminations, even just to uh, to knocking structures down with that. And he's going to start pushing up. He's going to get up top of his own. He's, he, he owns all of this, too. You see, he's making quick edits on, on pretty much every piece he's moving through. And this is Hysteria's first elimination thus far today in game one. An opponent surprise falls inside and catches and Nice off guard. You know, that's when the, the double barrel is quite good, just as a pro tip, when they're inches in front of your <laughs> face. Literally right there. Yes. Here we go, folks. Our move to our next zone about to begin. Tifu has been inching across all of this build. I was wondering how he's going to do this with little materials. Somehow he's claimed this entire top area, it seems. Nate Hill still in it. Jayomok still in it. Here we go. This game is about to escalate very quickly. The moves coming from everybody now. Chris to a limbs. Can he earn his third to put a point on the board? Gorilla just cut down Jayomok. You see Nate Hill using the bounce pad. Everyone surging forward. The common enemy of everyone is this storm. And you can see they're all afraid with how much damage it does. Somehow Tifu not being shot. He's made it on in and secured a nice little structure to heal on up. Literally no one wants to engage anybody else right there. You saw Tifu drop the C4. I think the idea is if somebody is pushing up underneath him, he can edit it out and drop the C4 oh! down. Brandon gets caught off guard and, and Jack he gets a med kit. six elimination and He's a med got a med kit now. He's got to use this right away. The zone is 25 seconds. Pop that med kit. Get above six HP. Tifu won a limb, a limb away from earning himself a point. Remember, top 10 in the game earned themselves a point as well. No fall damage, honestly, kind of surprisingly, so many explosives. He's out of materials. I think he's just, I think he's just got to kind of go for this. That's all of his mats left. One more Elim is a point for Tifu, and he's going to look for one. There's still 10 players that are uh, that have to go down before rank matters for points, which means now's the time, and he gets it, catches Shrugs off guard through a little tiny window. That green drum gun coming in, and another one. Tifu going for his fourth he's elimination. Gotta he's got to oh. move. The zone is there. He's got to move. He's trapped on in. Tifu choking on out. The storm ticking for so much, and there he goes. Tifu out from game one as the storm claims another victim. We got Nate Hill basically sitting on nothing, no HP, no shield in the bottom, and he had some minis. Going to patch himself up. When Nane's stuck inside, basically in the middle of the, uh, there's a player sandwich here. 11 left, one more goes down. Everybody that's left alive gets one point minimum. Whoever, whoever is a limb next, heartbreaking stuff as they will be just on the verge of a free point. I know one thing, Nate Hill has no plans of peeking on out with that little HP left. 
three medkits for more Goss. So you've got to think he's in a good spot if this goes to a heal off. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Fight about to go down. More Goss with a shot. There it is. We're now into our top ten. A quick so trade. Many trades having back and forth. The hype there, that was that was three limbs, and he made it to the top ten. That's two points there. Land Jock, we mentioned, you can have all sorts of play styles. This one, not go for any fights. He's in sixth place with zero limbs, but he's out of mats. He's full of bottom, to go. it's time to rip back up! He pulled two other players with him. Three are on their look, way down from the top. right away. He's gonna, I think the goal is to try and land as fast as no, possible. No, he's gonna so rip can... again! Oh my god, no! Oh. That was almost 200 IQ! It could come back to Gets bite him. the shot on Gorilla! Top five! Top five. Trades going down. Nate Hill with a limb. Prodigy Aces. Looks like he's got the high ground right now. Only one limb to his name. Remember, top three earned two points. He's made it. Two points now earned. So many med kits. The storm is pushing on in. This is it. I believe it's going to come down to a heal off right now. Player shooting from above. He doesn't have time to heal. Prodigy it's Nate Hill. And Nate. I don't think Nate has any help left. He's got one HP. He's trying to break down. He doesn't have the time. This should be it. He's got one extra tick of HP. And there's the victory for Landjog. As you can't points. believe it, it was 18 health to one health. Literally one tick of the zone made the difference. And the sigh of relief there. Congratulations. That's a three point game. Absolutely ridiculous. Nate, at this at this point, his only option was to try and shoot or, or pickaxe his way down, get a shot in the, um, in the fall, and it didn't matter. Landjock had a layer ahead uh, above yeah. him. You think whoever wins this fight will claim tilt the towers for this game. When Nick hears that chest open, he knows exactly where Aiden is. Here comes the engagement again. So far, Aiden eliminated Nick back in game one, and Nick looking for vengeance right now. Trying to spray on down with the LMG. Aiden building walls. Nick in the engagement. The tag. The shield's now gone for Aiden. Nick with the advantage up to this point. He's got to push the agenda here. The crowd getting behind Nick Merckx. You hear the chant going out of the background. Nick has matched the build. Aiden with the high ground. Nick 132 HP. I believe Aiden has just a little bit less. But as I say that, you see Nick with a little bit of a grimace there as he gets tagged for 60. The 1v1. The quick block there. The battle of the century. Two of the best controller players in the world going at it. Aiden down to two health he's gonna have to big shield here nick wants this fight i can tell you he wants to tie this 1v1 battle up at one to one no shields he basically needs aiden to walk on into the double barrel and say hello he's waiting they are one pixel away aiden charges in the spray oh. aiden again at 20 hp limbed in the in the engagement feed 25 players left as we made it into the zone, the quick little look at the picture and picture in the top right of just how hectic this truly is. 25 players remaining. Even though he's at 65 shield, popping the full just to get as much as he can. Late game, especially in these hectic moves, these players, that's why we saw a chug jug earlier uh, last game, I believe from Aiden for only 50 shield. You're not gonna have the time to use that during situations like this. Everyone is gonna listen for that and push. Is Blind the only one that is not on the bottom layer? He's in a he brilliant a position to everybody. lay down damage. He's got bounce pad, he's got a bounce pad to fall. He's got rockets still in his inventory. A, 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 a legendary assault rifle. Hysteria picking up his second Elon one more gets him a point and takes uh, tempos fake jesus out oh. jay cuddy who was looking for his his fifth elon gets Look at blocked this. He, he's just up in a tower that's two in a row that he's done this with c9 blind now at six limbs he could go on a tear to the end of this game lupo no one is contesting him at You're all right. Look, he's, he's completely nobody safe. else is as high as and he it's is so right now. secure that structure is so secured He's going to have to move. Still. The loadout is absolutely amazing. The what shot is? gets at least one midair. Shield tag. Sees another player rotating. This is an opportunity for Blind to just take taps at everybody that's moving because somebody might be one or two shots, and he's accurate enough. He can secure the seventh deal. That'd be three points this game alone. There's players right in front of him. I'm surprised he's not taking shots at Blue T during a rotation because he has layers. Even to, to, he could he defend himself while moving. It looks like there's going to be a challenge. Drops himself down. Takes a little bit of fall damage, but it's not enough to change his mindset about this engagement. He can still be aggressive gets a shot the jump shot the double barrel so powerful and he's back to the high ground he's not players, done yet folks. 11 players he's remaining. got more he's got more eyes on 
The lobby dropping so quickly now. I believe we're down to our top 10 as this is already a four point game for Blind. We mentioned yesterday, Tyler's had the incredible six point performance the max you can earn from one game. Blind trying to do the same here. Eight now remaining. Sean was taken with a quick limb. Blind refreshes his assault rifle ammo. He was down to just one clip and now he has 500. It's not the only thing in his repertoire, too. The rocket launcher in the, the previous, what, three, four eliminations for him yeah. has been absolutely ridiculous. The, this amount of structure and how powerful... No one can get that ability here. to destroy... It's, it's crazy. Oh, and maybe... Okay, well, maybe a port fort can. spoke too soon. Looks like somebody with a port of fort pushing up and taking an advantage. The port of fort destroys all the structure that it should... Uh, that, that it will break through and blind. Look at how... Takes that, advantage look gets. at how fast that was. Another Olim coming on in. Blind dropping all the way down. He's at eight. It's a 1v1. This is it. Can Blind win this game with a perfect score? Blind! Panic! Yes! There it is! A six-point game for Blind. As this man is now sitting pretty at the top of the standings. I can't handle this courage. This is absolutely amazing. The plays. The, the plays. It, it's, it's too much. We watched Blind earlier. Track targets. Look at his, look at his shaking. Look at his hands shaking. Here it is again. The drop down. His drum gun wasn't loaded. His double barrel wasn't loaded. He had the spray with the scar. Getting ready to move. 10 seconds away. Remember, top 20 earn a point. And you're not happy with something you just saw. What, what was it? I, I, the ridiculousness of this position is it's terrifying to think. Half of the players are going to go down, most likely during this rotation. And here we go. People flying through the air. Nate Hill oh, getting lasered, no. landing outside the zone, ticking, and that's going to be all she wrote for Nate. Too far into the storm and takes it. Literally, all it took was two ticks. Yep. All it took was two ticks. Rip to go. Someone going to the high ground. I think Rex just got eliminated by a trap. You see Chap still with under 20 HP. Tempo with two limbs. This could be the difference between two points and the zero point right now. If he can make it to the top. Top 10 or find the next elimination. Sam has not left this high ground at all. Only one rocket to his name. He's got to use this wisely. 13 players still left. Who will secure the victory royale and $25,000? Tempo's got nothing left right now. He's just hoping, Lupo, that he can make it in the top 10. A switch on over now to Ghost Fizzle. He's got one a limb, but a ton of healing in his inventory. 10 minis and a slurp, and still a lot of materials left. In the feed, you saw Poach get his fourth elimination. This is a player that thrives in these very this, yeah, close oh, combat 100%. engagements. He knows his way around these little buildings. You see all the way down to the bottom. This is a position we've seen him in a ton of times. Gets tapped a little bit in there, but he's he has an opportunity to uh, capitalize on this. Morgoth also secures his fifth limb. elimination. That's two points. Chad making a move, super low HP, and goes down on the move right there. That rotation is going to be tough. Everybody's moving simultaneously. Five players left, Courage. 72 hours, eliminates base soldier Jailmok. Dies to the storm. Poach is out of materials. He can no longer build. He's hoping people have to drop on down. Morgoth now at six of limbs, one away from earning the seventh, which would be another point for him. You see he's on a low level near Poach. Poach will win wind up trapping all these levels as people try to drop down towards him. 10 seconds until the zone begins to close. He's got bandages to work with, but it's going to come down to a heal up, I believe, ladies and gentlemen. Who will make it out on top? Poach trying to take matters into his own hands. The storm slowly closing. 19 seconds, 18 seconds, 17 seconds. The fight's just a layer above Poach. He cannot even build up. That's 72 hours. His teammate getting dropped. Morgoss trades the limb. That's his seventh. Morgoss has a med kit. Som has nothing to heal with. They've made it to the top three. Morgoss has a chance to have a six-point game himself to match that of blind. Who will out-heal the most? Morgoss with another med kit. Som dropping on down, trying to spray. Morgoss with the 1v1. Will he get the perfect game? He does. Morgoss with the victory. And look at the hype. Seven limbs and the victory royale back to back six point games. I think this is ending in the low gravity zone. I believe it's about to push that way. This is going to change how this here. entire final circle plays. Players are going to have to be careful when they jump in this thing. You float much, much higher than typically uh, you, you'd be used to, which means people that are going for uh, for shots on you while you're in the air. It's going to happen a lot. You might even see people. Oh my gosh, the number of people that are jumping. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Wait, what is happening? Flying way in the air. He's a, one of them's a shot. Wait, it what is like, happening? 
It looks I, like while they're in the zone, they're getting pushed up in the air. I've wait, seen this a little bit online. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what is happening? The rune now flies you around? Even they don't know what to do. Look at this. What is going on? It's just floating them up and down. Digging the feet didn't stick the landing, a 22 meter drop. You see them, they're going for literally anything. Players might try and catch <laughs> themselves with builds. I... <laughs> okay, no matter what, this I, is hysterical. There, this, Hysteria going down on the feed. People are just taking SMG and rifle shots while flying Wait, to the so air right now. Wait, so is this how this low gravity field now works? I've seen this a couple times, uh, like, like videos you on like Twitter and stuff. you like activate this? I don't know if this is... <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? He's trying to box himself in there. Oh, okay. Catches himself. He's... <laughs> you, you see him put his hands up. I... What is this zone right now? Oh, well, when I said it's going to change how this whole game is played. You were more right than you realized. I really was not expecting it. He's now floating He's, in this. He has himself boxed in uh, basically to catch himself. He could open up it's basically gone from a line from low gravity the top to takes. no gravity. Poach is like, I'm going to sit outside this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Players. The storm's going to start to move, maybe saving players from uh, kind of a confusing way to engage there. There's no way you practice for something like that. 13 people left, which means if three more go down, Poach picks up a point. If he gets one more elimination, Poach, Poach picks up a point. He might get one right here. The edit, the quick edit, takes a shot through, but couldn't secure that one. <laughs> Does get a shield tag. One player more needs to go down, and then everybody, there it is. Rio secures the elimination. Farigo, who we were watching earlier, fly through the air. We're in the top 10. Everyone remaining now has earned a point. This is where Poach is in his most comfortable zone. He's got a launch pad to use as well. Still enough materials to make some things happen. I think I saw on the feet a 53 meter uh, fall damage elimination. Somebody uh, uh, t was taken out by that, which might have meant as they were as they were rotating in, yep. they didn't get ahead of the, the uh, anti grab zone, the reverse grab zone, whatever you want to call it. That was ridiculous. At this point, yeah, I think anyone was expecting that. Poach Scash now top seven, down. inching every second closer and closer towards this next zone. Shots out, trying to do anything he can just to try and get a, a tap here. Holding the edit. Looking outside, tendons rotating in right now. Sofa rotating in right now. Everybody's kind of on the move. Sofa might have cat might catch the one off guard. There are shots from the back. Poach, Poach. Poach tracks down his third elimination, puts him in the top five. Two more going down. We'll get him yet another point here. A shot through at times Ooh. you saw him there is waiting just holding ads waiting for the wall to go down he's trying to sneak through this edit got to get through fast enough and does not make oh, it oh the storm gets limited by the storm. more Four players left. that was his third that'll give him a point remember top three earn another point whoever drops next be a heartbreaking way to go out. So we've got eyes on tendons right now at the bottom of this hill. They'll have to move a little bit up. Sean was taken just above it. A snipe. Nine meters. Nine meters from Bowman to eliminate Sofa. Three That's... players left. He's got no materials, but he's got a med kit. At this point, he has the bounce pad. He's probably going to build one layer out and bounce his way down. If he's going to go for this, I don't think he could drop down just based on materials alone. A 1v1 dropping in. Sean going for it. Takes a shot with a shot. He gets it midair. 49 to 70. Seven and misses the oh! tendons with the trap play. Oh! Are you kidding me? Tendons with the trap a limb. Like he's going for Twitter clips. Look at this. Tendons spams the walls. Oh. That was his fifth elimination. That's all going away quick, strong. Someone we saw earlier on. We got an interview with him after he had a big performance earlier in the week. Here comes the zone move. Rio launch pads up to the high ground. Nick Merck's having to go. Bounce pad time as he's going to try to keep up with the zone. Oh, he's going all the way to the low ground with barely any builds left. Mix on six eliminations right now, by yep. the way. One more would put him at seven. That's three points. He's got two points already from this game. Rio in the fight. Sean trades out battle him. You see Strugs now down. Nate Hill's still in this one as well. Nick Merckx with another elimination on That's base seven. soldier. I think that puts Nick at seven eliminations. Three-point game for Nick Merckx as this is going to move him way on the scoreboard now. now. Another he's... elimination from Nick. That's team and he's down. Top 10. A statement game from Nick Merckx. And he's got medkits to use. Nick Merckx can win this game.
Heavy, super low HP. You've got a whole ton of players above him, and he's sitting pretty down at the bottom. He's get, he might have the ability to rotate along the edge of the storm. You see with the, the location on the minimap, it's going to carry all the way along the base, and he catches Another somebody player. on the way down. He's trying to, trying he to go for materials. Elim number nine. He needs these materials. Every elimination from here on out is icing on the cake. He's going to push from... If he needs he's to go up, he's got seven builds left. Player's just inside. He doesn't realize he's to his left. Nick can only build seven walls. He's already earned himself four points this game. He's got to save those for moving up the hill. Yep. He can't waste too much of them right here. Luckily, he's got a little bit of defense here. Somebody already built wood. He's got to move up, though. He can't stay down on the bottom because he's about to be outside the zone. Now's oh, the time, no. Nick. you got to move. Oh, no. Get inside. Look, get can't... inside. Here we go. Nick, he's in. Solid play. Excellent job staying inside. But he's got players all over. No! Nick Merck slides down the mountain. No builds left. It's over. Five players left alive right now. And 72, 72 hours. Nathan, Mac, oh. Hovzy. Top five situation. Nate Hill already in a brilliant position. Spot oh, 72 hours. hours. That's a free limb, which gives him another point. Remember, if he makes it to the top three, he earns another Nate Hill, who is already in our top five. Might be making a move up the leaderboards, folks. Four players left. He's got no builds, so he's got to use whatever he can for cover. Look at look at the height difference. So Mac is done. That's top three. Another point earned for our remaining players. Poves, he's got no builds left. So he's going to get dropped on down. He's got a player right underneath him. Bolt all the way up top. Look at that. Nate Hill dish. 1v1 situation. Nate Hill still left alive, and Bolt's got the top down on everybody. He might even have an opportunity. He, just, but he, he's layering up. He's he going for a he heal can't off. Drop, though. He might be able to fall down to that next level, but if Nate's able to heal on up a little bit, I'm not sure exactly what Nate has. He can maybe shoot him down. Right now is the perfect time for, for him to just hang out up top. He's at 95, which means he can start the med kit before the zone closes all the way. He doesn't have to push for, for the elimination Nate, on Nate. Th 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 there's, there's five seconds left. Nate's going to have to try to spray down whatever he can. Bolt Naga can build out one Bolt. more structure. He's got zero limbs this game. He's been playing for the Victory Royale. He's got a medkit he can heal with. You see position. He's about to position himself yep. on the line. The seam between the two. Nate's got to keep spraying. Nate out. has to keep spraying. He cannot let this go to a heal off. He knows it as well. He's got to keep spraying. Nate, the game potentially slipping out of his hands. He needs to keep spraying the structure above. Nope. He's not going to be able to outheal him. This one's done. He's not going to be able to outheal. He does not have a med kit. This should be a heal off in favor of Bolt Naga. It's going to come down to the wire. Nate spraying, doing whatever he can, but it's not enough. Zero eliminations, by the way. But the victory royale the at 25, $25,000 richer God, because he played, YouTube clickbait. He played smarter know. than anybody else. <laughs> waited until the very last second and got the heel off playing outside of his position. He's safe right here. He's right at the edge of the zone. Yep. And look at the, the wide angle shot of everybody stacked up, basically smacked up in the middle. But you have players all the way down the hill already at the bottom. Bill Chase far on the outside. Crunch rotating in your bottom right. Jamok flying <laughs> in the heavy shotgun. Jay Cuddy, though, look, all the way up top. He's got a tower all to his own. He kind of has a top down. Sean probably taking play. the same launch pad that somebody else did. Here we go. Nate Hill, two elims now to his name. Ilchase Il 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 gets a snipe on uh, TT Reigns. Hey, look at him. Nate's hiding in the very bottom. He's under he, the port. He's port. under the port of fort. He has found a new. He's dancing. Look at him. He's just chilling right now. Nothing to worry about. 30 players left. Nobody will be safe for this next zone as it will move all the way out of the current play area. Tiku's got a far, far area to run to. He still has yet to find a limb this game as teammate face Jamok down low as well. Sean, how high up are you, my friend? Still going, too. He's got a kind of a double layer He's, tower there. Can we get a, a perspective of Sean, please, just to see this high ground he currently has? Because he is building so high up. He, he's not even in the camera. Ridiculous number of players left. 30 in the zone. We got the next move coming in soon. Tipu's getting shot as he rotates. 24 seconds left. Trying to wall himself in. He's starting to look pretty low on ammunition. 31 shotgun shells. 58 medium ammo to his name. Tempo gets cr crunched there. You see in the feed in the bottom left. 28 players, 8 seconds. Courage. It's almost go time. It's phase replays, phase jailmock, and phase Tifu all in this little box area. 
Only four of these players currently have three points that are still left alive, but we're going to see a number of eliminations come out here in just one second. Jamak is another elimination on base holder during the rotation. Tifu and replays literally side by side as Tifu's trying to push away. Replays might push for the elimination, having the top down of engine. Tifu falls 38 HP, almost gets caught off guard by his team. Not safe. Replays still not safe there. Uh oh. Replays oh got no. Elimination. Oh no. Oh no. Tifu again gets caught in the storm. Nate Hill with another elimination. That puts him up to, I believe, three as well before he's eliminated. So quickly we went from basically 26 players to roughly nine. alive to nine. Jamon, uh, everybody that's left right now does get a point. one point yes. just based on placement alone. That's five total for Landjack. He's at three limbs. Yeah. Turkey Lips, three points total and three limbs right now in this match. 72 hours is still alive as well. Turkey Lips has a top down on everybody. Yep, he's big chilling right now. Landjock tagged down to just 38 health, runs in the storm for a second. It's Jay Cuddy with the Elim. Turkey Lips is playing this high ground. Bolt Naga Ops is still in this too. Our winner from last game, that's his first Elim. We could see our first back-to-back -back victory royale from any player here. And look, he's waiting for the crate. Look at him. He's waiting for the crate. What will he get? Something good? Maybe a little present? Oh, <gasps> The Chug Jug fell. He couldn't grab the Chug Jug in time. Oh, it's okay, don't worry. Oh, what? So many players what? in one box. What? Everyone was there. And the game's over. He went from six to one in a second. How do I even cast that? It went from six to one instantly. They're even looking around to try and figure out what placement they landed. The, the shift in player count happened so fast. S 72 hours. I can tell you, okay, we have, uh, I have the list, and we've got it right here in front of us. 72 hours coming out, first place. Sean was taken in Povesy, got second and third. Turkey Lips, then Tendons, Unicorn, and Bolt, finishing up at seventh place there. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Bye, 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 GG. Jeez. Look at this perspective again. Falls in. Oh, uh, hey, guys. <laughs> Literally everyone in the same two squares. You see the look on Turkey Lips' face, too. The reaction to that. Look at 72 hours getting shots and tens on rotation in. Just trying to get literally anything they can. <laughs> wow. Sean was taken. Sick one of them this game. Top 19 right now. Everyone moving. Poach using as little materials as possible. The sign of a great player making sure. He makes the most of all these late game builds. He's basically positioned himself perfectly for this next zone. As he begins the builds, everyone having to move. He's got one just in front of him. It's more Goss of all people. 72 hours nearby as well. Poach inching forward, gets tagged, heavy. He'll place a trap too. Come on, run on in if you'd like. 18 players left, 10 seconds till this thing closes, and then we find out what direction they're going to have to go next. Morgoth, five eliminations still. Look at his, look at his down 860 bolts in a minigun. He can spray this forever. Almost gets caught off guard. The edit there, bit back just a little bit. He's very low on materials now. Only 20 hours left. Just got dropped by the storm. More fights going players, on around. 14 players. 14 players remaining. It all comes down to this. You see it. Look at everybody. Fade going down to the bottom, bottom of the screen. 13 players left. Chris goes down to Cease. Merck's been still alive. Tifu's still up as well. Poach just hiding in his little box, and Triz the most HP left in the lobby at max 200. Morgoss has so much firepower, but not a lot of materials and shields. It's making it have to second guess these decisions. 11 players left. The final match, game seven of the summer skirmish. In the rotation, everybody's got to go west. Everyone's got to move. Here we go, folks. It's all going to develop quickly. Right one of our boss. Tries to hit the shot. Nothing as of yet. Turns the corner, spraying him down with the drum gun. The storm at his back. He's only got one direction he can go, and that is forward. He breaks the wall, looking to reload this double barrel. We know how lethal this can be as he moves close. There's the shot on the Tifu. Cease with the trade. Eight now left as everyone's pushing forward. Cease gets dropped by, the, by Bizzle. Seven players left, they're on the edge of this tower. One falls, there goes Sofa. As he took a tumble, Poach down low, playing the low ground. Triz trying to pop this big shield. These are our final players left. All the weeks of competition leading to this point. Six players remaining. Marksman with the most health, drops on down. That's actually Poach, who I believe is spraying at him right now. 
Marksman could have a big game on his hands. He's had a pretty quiet day up to this point. But this could solve it all right here. One more limb would guarantee him another point as well. He doesn't have a lot of materials. He's using them sparingly. One player in the house, that's Poach. You got Coop Tree all the way up top. Spray down coming in. Poach with another limb. He's now at three, which will earn him another point. Could Poach be making a sneaky move? Oh! Goes through the doors. He closes it. Marksman sneaks on it. That's another point. He's down into 12 HP. Only gets a quick little tag there. Top three now. Coop Train, Triz, and Ghost Bizzle. This is it. Remember, Victory Royale is a $25,000 prize. Coop Train has bandages. He's playing the high ground. Triz couldn't have less HP. I'm wondering if Coop Train knows this. He's trying to make a bounce pad play. Nothing as of yet. Coop Train trying to keep this high ground. He flies into the storm. He'll die to the storm. One versus one. Coop Train from the high ground dropping on down. This is it. The final zone is closing. Who will win the $25,000? Here he goes. He's got one layer on him. Will it be a heal up? No, he gets in his face. The richer you thought he had it you thought he had it but here it is from ghost Bizzle's perspective how weak was he how weak was he oh no this could be heartbreaking this, this could be heartbreaking 26, 26 left that was five limbs and a victory royale that'll put him with a nice five point game right there and twenty five thousand dollars i guess we leaped on up there as we revealed the Very top ten <laughs> and look at the reactions <laughs> i believe is that you, our winner right you, there? You might be looking at Is that our right. winner? I believe that Morgos. is our winner on our screen, Morgan. $225,000. A life-changing amount of money. That's going to take him a bit to process exactly <laughs> what he's seeing on the screen. I think that is what we call shock, people. Oh, yeah. Plus the victory earlier. Remember the victory royale, another 25 grand. <laughs> he's he's running. running away. Yes, he's looking for security. <laughs> As he needs a, uh, uh, with no, Morgos, the top spot, 20 limbs, 11 points, far and away our top competitor today. The only player too to come away with 20 or more eliminations, well ahead of, uh, of the rest of the board there. Even Aiden pulling 18, Poach with 17, and names that you will recognize from all the previous weeks of Summer Skirmish. Everybody that's involved in this, they've all got to feel good about the performance, but man, those top 20s. There's Nick Merckx at that 17 spot. Remember, top 20 earned that extra bit of prize money. That was Joe Sapp, who wind up squeaking on through. Chap finishes at 28th, Tifu in 27th, Tempo in 29th, Hysteria in 30th. And there's a look at our top 48. Congratulations to everybody this week. At the end of the day, they all leave with some prize money, so you got to be pretty darn happy with that. Incredible performances, incredible moments, but there it is, our top 10. Mark Oss, 225,000, 180K for Ghost Mizzle, 135,000 for Liquid Poach, 120K for Nate Hill. Tendence, $105,000, and I can tell you that trap victory royale.